Craftery by PragerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a paper army hat to learn about one of America's most historical locations and institutions, the United States Military Academy at West Point. Oh, we've got a question. What is West Point? Is that the name of our army? Great question. West Point is not a name for our army, but rather a location above the Hudson River in Orange County, New York. It's about 50 miles north of New York City. It's the place where George Washington ordered a fort to be built during the American Revolution so that patriots could fight the British strategically by blocking them from sailing up the Hudson River. Many consider West Point and the United States Military Academy that resides there to be one of America's national treasures. We'll learn more about it in a minute, but first, here's what you'll need for our craft. A large piece of foldable poster board or paper, a green marker, green is the official color of America's army, sticky gold stars, gold is another official color for the army, white tape if you have it, a stapler, and scissors. Be careful with these, as always. Let's get started and make our hat. Take your poster board. Now, what I have is a huge piece of poster board, but we're gonna fold it in half to make it smaller so that it's about 12 inches by 18 inches. Yay, woo! Now, you're gonna fold this in half. Put some muscle in it. Did I do it straight? Good enough. <laughs> now, we have a shape like this. We're gonna cut it into a kind of sort of trapezoid. Here we go. Closer? Yes. <laughs> Next, we're going to gently staple the sides to close our hat. Lots of staples. Don't worry, we're gonna cover them up. Make sure you fill up your stapler before this. Ask an adult for help. Yes, almost. This is where the white tape comes in. If you want, you can use your white tape to cover these staples. Pretty clever, right? Fold it over like this. I'm just gonna trim off the extras. <laughs> Clever, right? So, how did the USMA at West Point start? Well, on March 16th, 1802, then President Thomas Jefferson signed a law establishing the Academy to create a strong military that would protect our brand new country. One of the early superintendents was a man named Sylvanus Thayer, now known as the father of West Point. He helped create the engineering education that is still a part of the Academy today. West Point cadets are smart and are challenged with activities like figuring out how to design and build a concrete canoe that floats. Okay, now it's time to do a little bit of engineering on this hat to give it the shape of an army hat. This part's a little tricky, so just do the best you can. And it might take you a few tries. We're gonna bend the top down so that it kind of sinks and appears to be flat on top. Watch. Is it working? <laughs> Don't worry if it's not perfect. <laughs> I think it's too tall. If yours is too tall, you can cut off more at the bottom like this. Okay, take two. I bet the West Point cadets can do a much better job than this. 
Is it better? Is it better? <laughs> Almost there. Just keep going till you find the right size. And if you mess up, you can start over. Okay, I think we finally got it. Did we get it? I think this is it. We got it, we got it. We're looking like an army hat. Perseverance and hard work pays off. West Point's mission is to educate, train, and inspire the Corps of Cadets so that each graduate is a commissioned leader of character committed to the values of duty, honor, and country. West Point cadets have excellent character and are prepared to serve as officers in the United States Army. What do you say we write West Point's motto in green on our hat here? Duty, honor, country. Here we go. It helps if you fold your hat to make it flat again. Duty means responsibility. Honor means good character. And country, hello, the United States of America. You know, West Point graduates have led our military through major wars in American history, including the Civil War, World War I, and World War II. And during the 1800s, many graduates helped build our nation's railways, bridges, harbors, and roads. Duty, honor, country responsibility, good character, and God bless the United States of America. I think it's time to stick on our gold stars in honor of all the hardworking cadets. It's actually harder than it looks to peel these off. Now remember, you don't want to decorate this part because this is the part that's going to get squashed to look flat on the top. Other side! Couple more? Yeah. There's no such thing as doing too much to honor our military. Okay. <laughs> Let's get that part at the top. Looking like an army hat again. Try it on. Duty, honor, country. Oh, we gotta tilt it. How do I look? Does it work? Did it work? You know, West Point also has some fun names for each year of cadets. If you're a first year, you're called a plebe. A second year is called a yearling. A third year cadet is called a cow. And fourth years are called firsties. There are great stories about why they use these names at the school, but I'll let you and your parents research to find out why. West Point is the oldest continuously operated army post in the United States and covers about 16,000 acres of land. About 1,000 new officers graduate from the United States Military Academy every year. And famous graduates include Ulysses Grant, Civil War General and 18th President of the United States, Dwight Eisenhower, World War II General and 34th President of the United States, and Edwin Buzz Aldrin, astronaut and second man to walk on the moon. If you wanna one day become a West Point cadet, you'll need to study and work hard and apply to the Academy with a nomination from a member of Congress. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating land of the free and home of the brave. Duty, honor, and country. And God bless West Point. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series and subscribe at PragerUKids.com.